Mary, we've got Afonso Curon from Con Ed on the line with us right now. Afonso, thanks for joining us. Can you hear me? Sure thing, I can okay, hear you. Okay, you got Chris Raggy and Mary Calby with you right now. What can you tell us? Well, right now we are responding downtown to Tribeca. Oh, okay. Okay. Happened. Uh, we've just been notified that there is a confirmed gas odor. We first thought that there was none, um, but we are hearing that there is uh, a confirmed gas odor close to 57 Worth Street. And what we've done is that we've sent crews down there and they're isolating uh, some portions of the main uh, in that area um, to prevent anything from happening. What is your biggest concern? Well, obviously, the public safety is, is number one concern. Um, but when anything like this happens, when any time a type of emergency, we do work very closely with the first responders, and we will send crews out there. Um, and that's what we did this morning. Um, we Now that we've gotten some sort of a response and some sort of a report of a gas odor, that is going to be our first um, uh, first sort of objective is to make sure uh, is there is where the gas odor is coming from and how we can stop the gas from escaping into the air. Yeah, Fonzo, I guess that was my question for you. With this crane coming down like this and then you hear that there's a gas odor, what could have sparked that? Like what would, it, well, what would the crane have you know, hit that would cause this? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, I, I don't want to speculate on something that that uh, that of how it could have happened. But obviously, uh, when a large crane comes down, it could puncture something, um, a piece of equipment, or um, uh, some sort of uh, you know a, a, any kind of main or any kind of equipment, a gas equipment like that. It, it's still unsure. Uh, we do have people there looking at it, so I don't want to speculate on exactly what happened when we don't know just yet. Yeah, no, please tell it? us what you want to tell people who live in that area and. And work in that area right now. Well, right now, obviously, safety is number one. Uh, number two, if they have any problems or are smelling any type of gas, uh, to call us uh, or to call 911 and report it. That really is key, right at, at this point. So again, you are confirming a gas odor, and you said 57 Worth Street is where that's been confirmed. That's right. It's uh, close to 50, uh, close to Worth Street and West Broadway. And how does that compare as to where the uh, crane fell? Uh, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's close by in that, in that vicinity. Alfonso, how many people do you have to dispatch for something like this when you know that there is a, an incident in an area and then you hear that there is a gas odor? How many people get to respond to something like that? You know, it's, it's, there, there are a number of people that, that respond to something like this. And obviously when it's an extremely serious situation like this, we will call in extra crews um, just to make sure that we are there. Uh, a lot of times we have specialized equipment, uh, cranes, different things like that that can help the city, even if it has nothing to do with a gas leak or an electricity outage or anything like that. We do work in tandem with the first responders when anything like this happens, just in case they need us our help with something that that, um, that we could help them out with, like a piece of equipment, or if we're, we're there just in case to, they need us to turn anything off. And as we continue to take a look at these live pictures and the massive emergency personnel presence there, please tell us in the next hour what will happen in regard to this gas odor, the work that will need to be done to isolate it. Give us an idea as to what your personnel will be working on first. Well, what they will do is that uh, there, there's uh, portions in the street, there's, there's areas in the street where we can turn off uh, sections of the main so that gas will stop flowing. Um, so what will happen now is that oftentimes people that live in the area or that work in the area could experience an outage. They could have a, a, a gas outage, which means obviously gas will not be going into their apartment or in their businesses. Um, then we will be looking uh, at um, where the gas leak is coming from and making the necessary repairs. So that may mean digging up a street, uh, that may mean um, uh, bringing in more equipment, um, different things like that in order to, to make sure that we can make the repairs as quickly as we can. Alfonso, carry on from Con Ed for us this morning. Alfonso, thank you for taking the time and uh, please let us know when you've got that, uh, that issue uh, tackled down there in lower Manhattan.